What's up everybody? We are Diana and Phil and this video is going to be all about food. We're going to take you with us here in Vienna, Austria and try some must-eat Austrian traditional dishes. Lasst uns essen. Los geht's. Guten Morgen, beautiful people. We are here in Vienna and we're gonna have breakfast, which we normally don't do, but we're in Vienna. Frühstück, which is breakfast. We're basically having breakfast for you guys because we usually don't eat it. <laughs> we're that's, splitting one breakfast that's, together. That's our excuse. We're starting the day with coffee. Austria and especially Vienna, I think they're very proud of their coffee culture as well as most countries in the world. What I got here is a Wiener Melange. I'm not really sure, I think it's an espresso with milk and then foam milk on top. It's a classic here as well. Melange. To me that always sounded like the most Austrian coffee there is to order. That's why I got it. And then I got an Americano mit Hafermilch or oat milk because I'm lactose intolerant. All right, our breakfast just came out. We got the classical selection and uh, if you check it out we have just very hearty Central European or North European breakfast, I would say. We have a bread roll, what they call here a semmel, not a bread roll here. We have two slices of a darker, thicker, pretty heavy rye bread. And then it comes with a couple of toppings like salami slices. We have some kind of ham. I'm pretty sure this is pork. We get this cute little jam glass here, which is marille, so organic apricot jam, jelly, a little side salad and some yogurt cream with a little bit of raspberry, blueberries and some flakes in there. So pretty good all around breakfast. I think the only thing that's missing is like maybe a boiled egg on the side. And to be honest, this is pretty similar to what people in Germany eat for breakfast as well. I would say my parents eat pretty similar <laughs> breakfast to that. Wow, that's not your first rodeo. I wanted to try the jam thing first. Oh, it's softer than I thought. Mm. Well, that looks nice. And I can't believe you put butter and jam on there. Of course. Of course. There has to be butter, but below jam. Do you eat it without butter? Yeah. Well, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> jam, do you butter or not? Tastes like Austria. There, Phil has made little mini sandwiches Whoa. now. Yeah. Open face sandwiches. That's what it turned out to be. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it was actually not a side salad, it's a little garnish for the yeah. top. It's a starker bread. I prefer that type of bread. It's hearty, it's nice. And I think these little garnishes do so much for bread. Breakfast is the one thing I never feel like eating out because I feel like it's not a good price value or price life dunk for healthness because it's something you can make at home, right? But this was 10, 50 euros and it has- you. What? That's so amazing. <laughs> but this was 10, 50 euros and it has a very good variety. So I really don't mind this. Mm, mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of fruit this is. I can't get this stem off. Should we just try that? Go for it. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I don't know what that is. That was super nice. What do you say? Do you approve of the Austrian breakfast? Yeah, it's a good breakfast. If this is super classic, then that's a good breakfast. We're gonna see you at lunch. All right, it is lunchtime, kind of the main event of the day. And I always wanted to go to this place when I lived here. Um, it is called Brandauer Schlossbräu in the background there. And it's supposed to be one of the best restaurants with the best Austrian food in the city, especially the schnitzel. So we're gonna get one and something else as well. I'm super excited. Let's go. You can't have an original um, Austrian lunch without some beer, but since I don't want to drink uh, because we drank yesterday a little bit, I got an alcohol-free version. But still, it's a Weiss beer. It's a Schneider's Weisse. Mm. There you go, professional pouring at its finest. Perfect. Ooh, feels like Austria now. <sighs> drink it. It smells like college. <laughs> <laughs> nope. All right, the food came out that was super quick. I really like this restaurant. It has a nice aesthetic to it. And this is it. This is the main event, the Wiener Schnitzel. It's actually pork. And I think the original original is veal. And it comes with Erdapfelsalat, potato salad. They call the potatoes earth apple, which is a funny word. But yeah, I always like a good potato salad. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna cut it in the center. There you have it. Nice battered piece. I think when it's flat, it makes it a little better. Mm. Wow, it's so good. I love the lemon taste on it. The pork is tender. The batter almost falls off, but it's not overcooked or dry, which is always a risk with uh, schnitzel. Let me see. Now to my expertise. As the world's leading expert on potato salad. <laughs> Self-proclaimed. Um, <laughs> no. See how good this is. Ooh, 
That's a very nice one. It has a sweet hint to it, but what I really like is it's not this mayonnaise one, but a nice vinegar base. It has a little bit of red onions in it, a little bit of parsley. Not too much, keep it simple, simple ingredients, and it tastes amazing. All right, so I've got some type of bowl. It's a Tafel Spitz? Tafel Spitz. Tafel yeah. Spitz. Ooh, looks good. There's beef in here with vegetables. I see carrots, potatoes, some root. It looks like some type of root. Yeah, it's a thin piece of beef. Ooh. Looks good. It looks it was, tender. I've never had this before, but it's one of these things on all the list to try when you're in Austria. I'm gonna give it a try. It's kind of the perfect thing. I love soup when it's cold and it's definitely cold. It's cold? Well, no, no, no. It's cold now outside because it's oh. November. <laughs> it's a warm dish. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's nice. Try this broth. Oh, whoa, that's super flavorful. Ooh, it's very savory. It gives this whole savory vibe. The best part is they have these side potatoes over here. I absolutely love potato pancakes, fried potatoes, hash browns, tater tots, anything fried potato based. You don't have to tell me. But they have this apple mousse here. Oh yeah. Apple sauce type thing. I'm gonna oh, try yeah. it with is that Is that first. what they call Apfelkren? That's another oh, word Apfelkren. that is not used in German, so I don't know. Mm. And what is that? Just some... Looks like some sour cream or something. I like the potato sides here. The amount of potato sides. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like the sour cream thing better. Yeah. That's nice. Ooh, I would order this again. This whole thing. So Tafelspitz, you like? Yeah. I love it. American approved. America approved. Try the potato salad. Don't try too much. Don't try too much. It's mine. It's all mine. Mm. Mm -hmm. You hate it. It's mine. What? Okay, so it's dinner time. We're continuing the eating. We're going to this restaurant called Beer and Beerly, and we're going to get one of my favorite dishes that I've ever had here in Europe. Let's go. So I hope this uh, picks up properly and not the music. It's dinner time and we've got two more dishes that are very common and traditional in Austria. And one of them is Austrian goulash. If you look at it, this is some goulash from the beef. Ooh, it feels very tender meat here. We got some roasted onions and a chili pepper. That must be one huge dumpling they cut into slices. On the side, we have a little green salad that actually came with the second dish, which is the Käsespätzle. Also very iconic dish in Austria and also uh, south of Germany. Spätzle, which is a type of pasta with a cheesy sauce, also roasted onions on top, and it's very heavy. I love it. Oh, and one thing, I got the Spezi. Very uh, Austrian and German thing too. It's Coke mixed with Fanta, and I absolutely love it. It tastes super fresh, very nice in the summertime. And I don't know, but I always crave it when I go to Bavaria or Austria. If you never had it, try it. All right, I've only had this once in Munich and I really loved it. Like Phil said, it's just like a German version of mac and cheese. And I'm down for it. Look at this. Give it a try. Cheesy layer of goodness while super hot. It's so funny, you always go for the Käsespätzle or mac and cheese. You love it despite being lactose intolerant. Ooh. It's an extra kick Ooh, for that's you. good. Ooh, this one is super cheesy. Oh my god, so tender. If you think the Tafelspitz was tender for lunch, then you should try this one. That's so tender. I always think if you boil meat in a broth instead of water, it turns out so nice. It's a very heavy, very dense dumpling, and I like it. It's almost like a bready type of dumpling. Let's see if I cut it here. I'd like to see how they make it if they cut it from a bigger piece. All right, so that was dinner. Oh, and I'm so full. That was very good as well. Goulash actually is also very popular in, in Hungary. Hungary. And Vienna is very close to Hungary or Austria borders Hungary. Also, if you look at the history too, it's very common throughout a lot of countries in the surrounding areas. I mean, let's be honest, a lot of the countries share a lot of similar dishes. Happy meal, happy bellies, yeah. and uh, we're gonna have to digest before dessert. We'll see you then. Mm. So that was our Austrian food tour. A lot of amazing food in there. If you like this kind of videos, give us a like and let us know in the comments below what your favorite Austrian dish is. I'm just gonna finish this sausage here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. A special thank you to our patrons for supporting us and helping us to make videos like these. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.